Have you ever wondered how our lives are so intertwined and quantumly entangled? And we know a lot about karma and soul contracts. But stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to share with you three things you can do to bring your soul contracts to completion. So the concept of karmic soul contracts is something we probably have all heard of. But what it really means is, is that our lives are preordained based on a purpose of soul lessons we chose to learn. And so people, experiences, twin flames all show up in our lives to give us the experiences we need so that we can complete those soul contracts, which is helping us free our soul, basically. But it really means we're bringing the karma full circle in the process of that. And so we have a network of dozens and even hundreds of paths in our lives that all, no matter what choice you make, can take you down one path or the other. And so it's all laid out that either way you go, you're going to get what you need. It's just a matter of what you choose you need to do in the moment that's going to take you down the path you need to get what you need for wherever you are here and now. If you're new to my channel, make sure to say hello below and that way I know that you're new. I've had a lot of new subscribers, so I want to welcome all of you and also welcome all of you back and thank you to all of you that's been following me for a long time. In case we haven't met, my name is Dr. Harmony and I'm a transformational coach, a quantum healer, and I help others that are struggling with separation wounds to find that inner union. And that is our theme this year on this channel. And here on this channel, I share the tools, the tips, and the techniques to help you heal your emotions trust your path so you can live your purpose. I post new videos every Thursday, so make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when all my videos and content come live. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that lets me know that you like more videos like this. So the first way that you can begin to bring closure and completion to those soul contracts is to identify your triggers. And it's so important important for you to recognize the emotion that is underneath the trigger so that you can identify what is that pain point? What is it telling me? Where did it come from? So obviously it could be from a past life that the person in our life, this life is shown up to mirror for you, to trigger you, to bring that emotion up for healing. But it goes back into our childhood and our childhood wounds because even our parents, we have soul contracts with, and it's about bringing those contracts to full circle, full cycle and completion so that we begin to pay close attention to what it is that is in our mindset that is continuing the patterns or continuing, you know, the hot buttons. And if you've not watched or uh, just in case you haven't, I'm going to make sure that you get a link to my identify your childhood wounds playlist. I'll put a link above and below. That's going to take you into a really deep dive to really do some healing in that childhood wound area and i also have an entire program of that on my accelerate your ascension academy group so you can learn more about that also in the links above and below so not only identifying those wounds or those triggers it's important to know how to manage them once you do identify them so Take mental note of these things throughout your day or, you know, as something comes up where you get triggered by your twin flame, which is, you know, they're usually a mirror to help bring this up to heal your wounds, which is also completing the contracts with these people as they continue to trigger you. The important thing is, is that when you identify these and you heal these wounds, then you actually are bringing the contract to closure. So once you heal that wound, it is coming full circle. It is coming full cycle. A lot of times people are afraid to cancel these contracts because they are afraid then the connection with that person is going to end. And so know that you have to bring that to closure for you to be free to go forward. So really pay attention to any mental blocks that you have around these things of what's triggering you, why, and then begin to do some affirmations around that and look at, okay, if my thought process is going about this in say a negative way and it's bringing up doubts in me or fears in me, how can I take that fear of a sense of I'm not good enough feeling into I am more than enough and to start to self talk back to yourself in ways to so listen to that side that's coming up with that negative experience, pay attention to it, love it, but then 
reframe it and give it back. Breathing exercises also really helps you get into the centeredness of yourself that can help you identify and connect to your body. Coming home to your body is so important in this. And that way you can fully reintegrate with what is being triggered here so you can feel it, so you can heal it. And then you obviously have to see that before you can do either of those. So again, pay attention. And if you'd really like to take a deep dive into clearing your soul contracts, completing them, and even healing your childhood wounds, I do have online courses and online connection to with me live to help take you through that process and my Accelerate Your Ascension mentorship. So check out the links above and below for that as well. So the second way that you can bring this karmic cycle to closure is to recognize your own patterns and the cycles that are going on within you. You're repeating these things over and over in order to complete it. And so it's so important in the process of this that you take responsibility for you signed up for this. And that's where I get a lot from the Twin Flame people they want to point the finger, they want to give their power away saying it's the other person. And it doesn't just have to be the twin flame because you have soul contracts and karmic contracts with everyone and they all have to come to closure. And your twin flame has a karmic contract with what we call karmic partners that they have to complete with that person before they're free in their soul and you can't necessarily fix that for them and between them, you have to get your part in it. Usually you have a part in that triangle with them though. So recognizing in that, you know, what it is you need to heal. So there's a video I did on why your twin flame keeps coming back. So check that out in the link above or below because it will really help you understand how to bring more balance to yourself and recognizing these patterns so that that way you can begin to find your inner balance. And then once you stop being triggered and then you recognize these patterns, and you go forward in the new ways, you can't be triggered anymore. And you've reprogrammed the pattern through these reframing things like the mental aspects and the habits and the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions. And when you have a new feeling and it becomes more positive, then you're gonna create new experiences that are going to come to you with a new like reflection of yourself that's going to you know give you new higher vibrational thoughts that's gonna help break your cycle that's preventing you from looping through the mental aspects that's creating negative emotions that is sending out signals and projecting outward what it is you need for these triggers and they'll stop. So let's take that one step further because when you have these contracts show up, it is a repeated pattern in all your relationships. And that means all of the people that show up, whether the types of relationships are parents or maybe friends or soulmates or, you know, intimate partnerships or twin flame, they're each got something within them that is a repeated cycle or a repeated pattern in the relationship pattern between all of those things that is an old program, an old belief system, an old pattern that you need to reprogram. And that's a piece of what I'm saying. So what I was talking about before and those emotions, what you send out, that reflects into your relationships. And now it's about looking at new ways to engage in those relationships so that you can start to implement new ways of interactions and coming from it more wholeheartedly, coming from it from whole and healed, not wounded, because it's the wounds that is sending out the signals. And so another thing I will tell you in that, because of that coming through in those relationships, and we're clearing and healing all these programs in the family karma, I have a playlist called a Bloodline Clearing, Clearing Karma for Bloodline. It's really good, I'll put a link above and below. I talk about me and my son, me and my daughter, me and my father, and all of the ways I've went through clearing of my karma with my family. And it's, it will be really important to help you see those patterns in your own relationships so you can bring closure to the contracts. So the third way to bring completion to your karmic contracts is to give thanks for the lesson because the karmic contracts are all about you learning the lessons from these people. And until you find the gift or the gratitude in the lesson, 
that's a part of the lesson that you will not be able to move through this cycle and move past these lessons until you can be grateful for these experiences with these people. And that can call for forgiveness, not just with the person, but like with yourself. Being in these interactions, usually anytime you have harbor feelings against someone, it's a reflection of that being separate or wounded within yourself. And so I really highly recommend that you do my loving kindness meditation. I did that for Twin Flames a while back. I'll put a link above and below. That meditation is helping you go into a state of love and that you are love and that you represent love and that you can dissolve the energy around the wounds and the blame and the shame and the hurt that comes along with this journey. You coming into the gratitude is going to give you an immense sense of growth in your soul. And that is going to be a piece of what they're teaching you. And the minute you find you come to that closure of for instance, the trigger and you reframe the pattern and then you now see the lesson, that brings closure to it and that's when it stops. So let me know in the links above or below if you are experiencing these triggers and if you have someone you need to forgive and most likely it might be the twin flame, but if you have someone to forgive, let me know in the comments below. So as you can tell, karma plays a huge integral role in our lives. It helps us understand ourselves and our spiritual growth. And these are soul contracts and agreements we made with all of these people. And we're not going to get out of it until we gain the lesson. But the important thing is to know that out of that lesson, you're going to gain personal freedom. And so I invite you to really take a look into this and see and maybe make a list of who it is you have that you need to bring your soul contracts the karma to completion with and that can even be the twin flame so if you're needing to bring completion to karma let me know that below and if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more videos to help you along your journey to inner union make sure to comment below and let me know and if you have any ideas or anything you'd like for me to share or to help you with on this journey and don't forget to like, comment, and share, and give this video a thumbs up. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you know when all my content comes live. And if you'd like to learn more daily tips and tricks on how you can stay more connected with yourself and learn to heal those wounds so you can glow forward on fire, make sure to follow me over at Instagram or Facebook where I'm sharing daily content. And as always, if you want to learn more about me, my programs, and how you can work with me, you can visit my website at TwinFlameExpert.com. And I'll see you in the next video.